customer is looking to put in a retaining wall in order to uh, level off the back area of his yard. Um, so uh, they've set up, uh, first of all, let's talk about their trees. So they're gonna be removing some of their trees around the yard, um, but uh, some of the other trees are staying and they want to do their best to limit the impact of leveling off their yard, what it, what it, will, do to, to, uh, what it will do to the trees. So um, <clears throat> they came up with this string height, which is 30 inches. So what they're looking for is a 30 inch wall um, kind of coming from their, the edge of their, um, edge of their um, yard over here and coming straight across. We would need to cut, um, we would need to cut the, uh, the patio that we have here and it would go straight across over to um, where their fence is over here and uh, we'd be uh, 30 inches from the center, so it'll probably be shorter on the right than it will on the left. But then as it gets over here, wherever four feet is, as far as height is concerned, um, is where we're gonna be curving it. So it'll be, like I say, 30 inches in the center, and wherever it comes up to four feet over here is where it's gonna be uh, curving around. That'll be the max height. And it will follow this, um, this path straight back uh, behind the, um, behind their little play area here. So um, <clears throat> it's basically in an L coming from there and across over here. All right, so we're gonna bid this two different ways. We're gonna bid it with retaining wall block and we're gonna build it with road five to six inch Fond du Lac. Um, yeah, then uh, going through their, um, through their wall here, we're gonna uh, bid um, some steps. We're going to go with three foot steps because it's 30 inches and assuming that they are six uh, Six inches a piece we'll need to put in five slab steps in order to get them to go through now um, They also want us to regrade their yard. So that way it's um, uh, It's even with uh, the height of the wall. So uh, we'll probably mm, We'll ask maybe Jack or maybe Elgard or someone um, to come do some of this work beforehand. But as you can see, their fence is a little bit higher than we are. <clears throat> and what they what he would like is he'd like um, this this whole area to kind of be chopped down, and the f um, that y the yard between the fence and the grade of their um, the new height of their lawn to have a really steep angle. He said one to one. I suggested that's a little bit too steep. A 45 is too steep. Um, for that tall area, maybe we do a, a two to one or something along those lines where it's more like a 30 degree, but something just to get it down and then the whole yard would have to kind of be shaved down. Um, but then we'd put that behind the wall that we built right here. So um, I've got 17 feet from the uh, fence to the, um, to the concrete here. And then I've got 36 and a half feet to the, um, to the fence over there. Um, and then the, we were curving it up along that fence. It's 40 feet from um, from this part of the wall to the top of the um, to the top of the lawn over there. Our access point is uh, he's going to take down this fence right here, and our access point is the neighbor's driveway. I double checked to make sure, and he said, "Yeah, the neighbor um, has said that we can go ahead and use it." Um, but uh, it's kind of steep, but it's not terribly, uh, terribly bad. Um, but one thing to note is that we are gonna have to build up um, a little bit of grade because there is um, the, the concrete right here. It's probably about 12 inches. So we're gonna have to uh, build this up a little bit in order to have a, an adequate ramp to get up um, to this height. So, um, <coughs> Other than that, I suggested that he wait to do this probably until um, September. He's got two kids and they want to be able to use, you know, if they want to use their backyard this summer, um, this will just destroy it so they won't be able to use it. So if we wait until September, they'll be back in school and it'll be um, more conducive to them. So, uh, yeah.